Today we pray with a tremendous confidence in God, and therefore a tremendous confidence in ourselves, to have the ability to press on, not to stop, not to live on this side of some defeat or something that happened in our lives. It is to get past that, to press on, and to do it with God's courage. You are empowered with God's courage today. You are empowered to press on today. You have the touch of God Almighty in you, through you, making you almighty, making you a victor instead of a victim. You have the power of God, and God wants you to accept this power. Listen to the words in the Bible, because they are words about you today. Forgetting what lies behind, I press on toward the goal. Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14. You forget what lies behind. You do not hold on to the bad memories. You only hold on to the memories you choose to hold on to. In prayer, you release the bad memories. In prayer, you make yourself fortified by the good memories. And you press on. You forget what lies behind. You press on now in full joy, God-given joy, to the fulfillment of the promise of today and tomorrow in Christ. You are releasing the past with a God-given power to release the past. You are not defined by the past. In prayer, I decree you are not your biography. You are what you choose to be now and tomorrow in prayer, praying the prayer of faith. You know that you are free from backward looking. You no longer choose to look backward. You look with absolute joy at the present gift of God and with vision towards a tomorrow filled with promise. Right now, the past has no power over you. Whether it is yesterday or 50 years ago, it has no power over you any longer. I decree in Jesus Christ's name, it is gone. You are only keeping it alive in thought. You are only feeding it in thought. And you choose this moment to cut the cord and to not allow that to affect the present. And it doesn't. You have the God-given power to do this. You are absolutely free. Any memory that keeps coming up, you write that down and then wad up the piece of paper. Give it to God and throw it away or burn it. It is no longer part of you. It is no longer part of your life. You go through this act as a symbolized letting go to God and a release. You release the burdens of the past. They're no longer part of you. I pray in Jesus Christ's name that you are able to release once and for all the burdens of the past and that you press on in joy that you have a new God-given energy and power and motivation to press on in joy to the fulfillment of the promise of God in today and tomorrow. You are equipped now. You are empowered now. You have the power of God touching you and going through you. You are not who you were before. You are a new creation in Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, you press on.